What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Lakefront Brewery in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is Lakefront Smash Ale. So, uh, I don't really have uh, much in terms of inf in terms of information on this beer. Uh, reason being, the brewery has recently changed the recipe for their Smash Ale. Uh, you can kind of see at the bottom of the, the bottle here, uh, single malt and single hop ale. It's a little hard to see. But single malt and single hop ale. And this particular beer is brewed with only Vienna malt and Willamette hops. Well, I went to the website, and they have now changed to uh, Citra hops. Um, but it's still a single, single malt, single hop beer, but different hops, and that's what the... Uh, the, all the information on the website and all the description and all that um, is on the website again. So, uh, and this beer is fresh, has the best by date of uh, December 9th of 2016. So, again, all I can really tell you is it uses only Vienna malts, only Willamette hops, and it checks in at 5.2% ABV. So, not much to say, so we'll just get into the beer. A uh, very nice effervescent head, I would say, there, um, initially. Lots of uh, material swirling around there in the middle of the glass, and uh, color-wise, I hold it up, it's kind of a nice golden color. Goes into a yeah, goldish orange. Um, can't see through it at all. Again, lots of particulate matter can be seen. And when I first poured it, there was maybe a finger's worth of head. Um, but that all has uh, pretty much all dissipated. I can't see much in terms of the way of uh, in terms of the way of carbonation in the glass. Maybe just a very little bit, and again, I can't see much with the the matter in there. But um, let's uh, give it a shot. Hmm. Very much malt forward. I'm not getting a whole lot of hop to, to start out. Now it's coming through uh, a little bit more. Kind of a and a little an interesting little flavor. It's kind of a somewhat fruity. I can't quite place it yet. Maybe like a little bit of a a white wine note almost. Like I, I don't quite want to say there, but kind of a white wine or a little bit of a grapey, uh, green grape feel. Hmm. Um, very, but very different flavor wise. Not, 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 not too bad. Pretty, uh, it's pretty tasty, but it's just it's very different from. Um, I was expecting something kind of along the lines of Pale Ale or IPA, and there's just a, a very, very faint hop bite, but largely not much to it in that area. Plenty of malt, though, and um, maybe just a, a little bit of a, like a, citru a citrus rind kind of a taste, and then, again, something that's reminding me of, of, of white wine. Fair amount of spice too, I think. It's very different, very different. <laughs> um, neat little beer, just very, very hard to place. Um, I don't know if it's kind of the I, I don't want to say lack of diverse ingredients, and, I'm, and that's not necessarily a criticism. Even though I use a word like lack, it's just a it's very different. So I'm going to come through a little bit more now that I'm, my, my palate's acclimating. It's getting just a touch warm. It's 
Yeah, some some kind of fruit skin. Maybe I, I know I said citrus rind earlier, but maybe like a peach skin, something like that. Yeah, kind of like a sour peach skin. It's not sweet at all, um, despite all the, the fruit descriptors I've used. It's not sweet at all, but um, just a really, really interesting beer. I only have the one. I kind of feel like I need more to uh, to really dive into that beer. But um, that's the, uh, again, Lakefront Smash Ale, apparently the old version of uh, Lakefront Smash Ale. But... Um, Interesting beer, just very, very different flavor-wise. Certainly not what I was expecting, but um, uh, nice, nice little, nice beer, nice beer. Um, so that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, next time, craft beer meets your local coffee house. That's my mysterious preview. Craft beer meets your local coffee house. You can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and lots more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description below. And if you're so inclined, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and see you around Poorly Reviewed Beer.